It's a classic line from the Bible. Cain asking, am I my brother's keeper? In Texas, after Hurricane Harvey, a lot of Good Samaritans answered that question with the resounding yes. Dylan was there to see the kindness of strangers and neighbors firsthand. Strangers coming together under the worst of circumstances. One in need of a hand in a desperate moment, the other helping however they can. With all of Harvey's destructive power, perhaps hope was built on these chance meetings with everyday heroes. We need your help. The call went out, and it didn't take long for it to be answered from across the country. Selfless displays of courage, bravery, and heroism on full display. Rising above the misery of the storm, acts of kindness at every turn. These guys know all too well the power of a hurricane. When Louisiana gets in a bond, when we have problems, uh, Texas responds, and we're not going to leave our brothers behind. They're with the Cajun Navy, a volunteer group from Louisiana. The more good you can do, that you just hope it passes on. Where's the truck? Jean Wilkie traveled 200 miles with her family to help. We bought this raft in San Antonio and came out here, and those rafts are the ones that are going into like cul-de-sacs where our outboards can't get in. Jean's not alone. So many people came in to help rescue people. We're having to make rescues through roofs and everything else. People are up on the roof. So we got airboats. We got guys coming helping us. So doing the best we can. Those ladies asked if we could give them a ride. We just said, yeah, no problem. You know, we're no heroes or anything. We're just here to help people. You know. Thank you. And then there are the neighbors who formed a human chain to help a Houston mom get to safety when she went into labor during Harvey. As flood survivors began arriving at evacuation centers, more heroes emerged. As soon as you get in register, you want to see the doctor, okay? At the George R. Brown Convention Center, Cynthia Rodriguez, a nurse, came to volunteer. The kids are breaking my heart. That's what's breaking my heart, the kids. And the lost look of the elderly. Jesus! Victoria White and friends just wanted to make a tough situation a little better by lifting the spirits of evacuees, singing of glory. Others took families into their homes. We're able to help somebody. That is really important for us. And private businesses opened their doors too, like Gallery Furniture, turning its showroom into a shelter for hundreds. Whatever we can do to help these people in time of need, that's what we're going to do. Real moments with real people, performing acts of humble heroism under the toughest circumstances. Dylan, for all the devastation that you saw out in Texas and Louisiana, it's moments like those that I imagine speak the loudest. It, it's amazing how people come out in, in something like this. We were staying at a hotel where a lot of the National Guard was staying, and okay. they need to be cared for as they care for everyone else. And there was one guy who worked for the hotel. He kept serving food. He kept making sure we knew when the next chance to eat was. Hot food, and then, which hot was food. not around much. It, there yeah. wasn't much of it. And then he says, once he found out where I worked, he said, if you happen to go to this town, it was, I forget the but it was the town he was from. He's like, here's my address. Can you just see if my house is there? Uh, so he's there helping everyone else who's helping everyone else. And he doesn't even know if he has a home. Didn't even know what kind of damage was back there. No, not at all. It's and a, he was one of the loveliest people I've met. That's so cool. It's amazing to see those stories, even as we talk about the people who have lost everything here. Right, exactly. Dylan, thank you very much.